Another pandemic is something that I don't think all of us are ready or even want to have another pandemic to be another worry that we have to focus on. So monkeypox has been a thing for quite a while, but since this is the year of 2024 and this was not on our bingo card, it has become a serious issue and the World Health Organization, also known as WHO, has declared mpox also known as monkeypox to be taken seriously on high alert and a state of emergency who director general declares mpox outbreak a public health emergency of international concern who director general dr tedros adhanom gebreyesus I'm very sorry if I butchered that very, very terribly, has determined that the upsurge of MPOX in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, and a growing number of countries in Africa constitutes a public health emergency of international concern, DHEIC, under the International Health Regulations 2005 IHR. Dr. Tedros' declaration came on the advice of an HR emergency committee of independent experts who met earlier in the day to review data presented by experts from from who and affected countries. The committee informed the Director General that it considers the upsurge of MPOX to be a PHIC with a potential to spread further across countries in Africa and possibly outside the continent. The Director General will share the report of the committee's meeting and based on the advice of the committee issue temporary recommendations to countries. Now I also want to mention that's pretty important there so far has been 550 deaths that's related to monkeypox and since this is just happening in a recent story to talk about and to be more informed of it's more likely to shut down all stores and limit the amount of people entering to not continue with the spread just like what happened in COVID-19. In declaring the PHIC Dr. Tedino said the emergency of a new clade of MPOX is rapid spread in eastern DRC and the reporting of cases in several neighborhood countries are very worrying. On top of outbreaks of other MPOX clades in DRC and other countries in Africa has declared that a coordinated international response needed to stop these outbreaks and save lives. WHO Regional Director for Africa Dr. Mashidiso Moeti said significant efforts are already underway in close collaboration with communities and governments. Of our country team working on the front lines to help reinforce measures to curb MPOX. With the growing spread of the virus, we're scaling up further through coordinated international action to support countries bring the outbreaks to an end. Committee Chair Professor Dimie Ogoina said the current upsurge of MPOX in parts of Africa along with the spread of a new sexually transmissible strain of the monkeypox virus is an emergency not only for Africa but for the entire globe. MPOX originating in Africa was neglected there and later caused a global outbreak in 2022. It's time to act decisively decisively to prevent history from repeating itself. This PHEIC determination is the second in two years related to MPOX. Caused by an orthopox virus, MPOX was first detected in humans in 1970 in the DRC. The disease is considered endemic to countries in Central and West Africa. In July 2022, the multi-country outbreak of MPOX was declared a PHEIC as it spread rapidly via sexual contact across a range of countries where the virus had not been seen before that PHIEC PHEIC Jesus was declared over in May 2023 after there had been a sustained decline in global cases. Epox has been reported in the DRC for more than a decade and the number of cases reportedly each year has increased steadily over that period. Last year reported cases increased significantly and already the number of cases reported so far this year has exceeded last year's total with more than 15,600 cases and 536 Seven deaths. The emergence last year and rapid spread of a, new, of a new virus strain in DRC, Clade 1B, which appears to be spreading mainly through sexual networks and its detection in countries neighboring the DRC, is especially concerning and one of the many reasons for the declaration of the PHIEC. So, even though that this is a sexually transmitted virus, it still should be taken to account to take this serious and to take this safely, be secured, stay safe, and take precautions and try to prevent this from not spreading just like what COVID did. Now COVID was like a virus and a fever but like just an advanced version that could like hurt your immune system and then we had all these things of like oh take one shot take two shots take three shots. Now 
I'm not one to brag, but I survived the COVID pandemic without a shot. At the time, I was a minor when it happened, and it was up to my parents' decision to for us whether we should take the shot or shouldn't take the shot. But I didn't take the shot because of my parents' approval to not, or my parents' choice, I should say, to not take the shot. And I survived, all right? I wasn't sick, and I feel... I feel like a god, but we should probably take this MPOX pandemic very seriously. In the past month, over 100 laboratory confirmed cases of Clade 1B have been reported in four countries neighboring the DRC that have not reported MPOX before. Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, and Uganda. Experts believe the two numbers of cases to be higher as a large proportion of clinically compatible cases have not been tested. Several outbreaks of different clades of MPOX have been occurred in different countries with different modes of transmission and different levels of risk. The two vaccines currently in use for Ampox are recommended by WHO's strategic advisory group of experts on immunization, I should say, and are also approved by WHO listed national regulatory authorities as well as by individual countries, including Nigeria and the DRC. Last week, the Director General triggered the process for emergency use listings for Ampox vaccines, which will ac accelerate vaccine access for low lower income countries which have not yet issued their own national regu regulatory approval. Emergency use listing also enables partners including Gavi and UNICEF to procure vaccines for distribution. Who is working with countries and vaccine manufacturers on potential vaccine donations and coordinating with partners through the in interim medical countermeasures network to facilitate equitable access to vaccines therapeutics diagnostics and other tools who anticipates an immediate funding requirement of initial 15 million us dollars to support surveillance preparedness and response activities a needs assessment is being undertaken across the three levels of the organization to allow for an immediate scale up who has released 1.45 million us dollars from the whole continuum Agency fund for emergencies and may need to release more in the coming days. The organization appeals to donors to fund the full extent of needs of the MPOX response. So basically saying that they're doing everything they can to like plan forward just in case if things go from bad to worse with this potential outbreak of MPOX. Now, I just wanted to say this. I don't think any one of us are ready for another pandemic, all right? We all miss to hang out with each other, not just with friends and family, but to socialize. And I feel like the pandemic has really made us so isolated of people that we know that we've now became socially awkward and very introverted to people that we used to talk to, but we don't know how to form a conversation because of how long we've been very distant. Like, I remember back in 2020, like, we had a Christmas but it was on a voice call. And once like the COVID cases started to like slow down a little bit, we all started to hung out a little closer or we have to wear the masks just to be, you know, really sure. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like me wearing the mask, I look cool, but also maybe hide my face because I'm very insecure about my face. And also I think I'm ugly too. But all that aside, I feel like when this new pandemic starts, it's best to keep ourselves safe than sorry. And even though we're probably or might not miss interacting with the people that we love, whether it's friends and family, we're probably going to get another pandemic. And we're all probably mentally, physically, and psychologically not prepared for it, depending on how you truly feel about the news of MPOX becoming a potential outbreak, a potential new pandemic, and possibly another world ending virus but that depends on how people would take this seriously so yeah i feel like that's all i gotta say to talk about monkey pox the potential outbreak and potential second pandemic that we're probably gonna get but again that depends on how rampant this becomes even though this is a sexually transmitted disease there are new levels of risk and ways that this could catch up onto you that the who organization needs to figure out how can this be transmitted so with all that being said about be seeing you all later this is with that gray I, and i honestly don't think i'm ready for another pandemic okay i yeah i think i think it's about to be like covid part two okay and i'll see you all later see ya